Hi everyone, Luca from lgmphotography.co.uk and in this video I just want to talk to you about um, travel photography. So you're going on a holiday, you want to take some gear with you, what should you take? Uh, well, I've just come back from Croatia where I spent about two and a half weeks there. Uh, I've all, I was also traveling through Europe, uh, driving from Poland to Croatia, so going through about six countries. and. Before I left, I wanted to get the right gear for the trip and really is you need to kind of study where you're going and then take the gear you need and take it in circumstances with how easy you want it to be with you. Uh, if you're going to bring a 70 to 200 with a D3S or a D4, uh, you need to think that, you know, do I really want to carry this all day or long or not? And really what I wanted to do is take a camera which would be easy, uh, small, uh, smaller than my D3S anyway and with a couple of lenses that will um, help me kind of get the shots I wanted. I was going there with my family and my two boys so obviously I didn't really want to carry my D3S or a 70 to 200 so what I took is I took a D7000 I took an 18 to 55 millimeter and I took uh, a 50 millimeter 1.8 which are the two smallest lens I have. Now the um, 18 to 55 was incredible for what it is. It really works well, it, it brings very sharp images, uh, it got a nice color rendering, uh, it's small, it's uh, very light, uh, easy to clean up, it's got VR. So it's, it's a very good all-around lens for what you're paying for and for travel it's really good. Of course I would prefer to have my 24-70 on it or my 70-200 or my 85-1.4 but I, I just didn't want to carry around that kind of equipment with me and this was fine. This was good for all my general shots 18-55 getting some nice family pictures and all this but also use it to make panoramas. I did this quite a lot where I was taking a few shots and then came back to the hotel in the evening. I took my computer and kind of stitched them together and worked perfectly. Uh, I will put a few, a, a few slides I've taken when I was there. Uh, what I used the 51.8 for was really if I wanted to get some nice portrait shots of, uh, of my family. Uh, again very light, very small, very easy to carry around. Um, so really my recommendation is take what you need and know what you want. If I take every time what I want, I take every all my gear with me because there is always one time where you'll be ah, if I have my 85 one I'll get a beautiful portrait here. Well yeah probably but the 51.8 will also give you a nice portrait. Probably not as good or not as um, not as nice as you would want but believe me nice enough so yeah two little lens one camera I put a few slides through of the picture I've taken and uh, yeah now my recommendation is yes yeah, study where you're going I went to Croatia I knew it was going to be very bright very sunny very hot every day uh, very hot which means I don't want to carry too much equipment uh, very sunny which means I don't need very fast lens um, I was using this the 51 1.8 for the evening shots as well uh, yeah uh, it works great for me so if you have any question about uh, what equipment you want to take on which holidays on which country let me know happy to help any other question post them down below and cheers see ya